So, uh, getting a train again, I suppose. Off to a game. Sure, it's good life. So we're about 25 minutes in the opening gym, but it's already good news for Cholester. Their women won the Champions Trophy semi-finals. That's them into that final. They're guaranteed to be there on final day, the 14th of April. Of course, the men playing demons to get their spot there. But also, that's good news for Dublin Sport in general today because Mary Louise Nicholson has just won Gladiators. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Congratulations to her. Uh, but a uh, big game coming up here. And score sheet filling the Our venue opens our Gavin Sinners and other runners of Island. Hala! Hala! Time out here late in the first. Demons up by seven, but this has been a meaty, meaty game. Lots of physicality, lots of contact. Glad that they're loving it though. Uh, like, you know, put attention there. Unless you're Casey Harrell, who seems like he could be chill if World War III started in his backyard. But a uh, good, meaty counter to start out with what we love to see at this level. And this is Emmett from the end of the game, cutting in for Emmett earlier in the game, saying if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We uh, need to keep driving that traffic, folks. Uh, just keep more people knowing about this site, more people seeing these videos. And every little click helps. Thanks very much. now and Colester has gone on a big big explosion. Harold and Paul Dick really leading the charge there. It's 38-32 now. They've really just turned this around so time out being called by Demons. They're getting a bit too predictable offensively. Two seconds left on the clock after this free throw. That's the horn at the half. Colester lead 50 to 42. So yeah, half time. Colester up by 10 here, as I was saying, at 2 to 42. Physical. A lot of players. I lost count, but a lot of guys already on three fouls. So that could be a huge factor in the second half here for sure. 10 point lead is significant, but it's obviously also the type of one that can be overhauled. So nicely balanced here, I think, at the half. left in the third. Seventh Woods has just picked up his fourth foul. We were saying at halftime foul from could be an issue. Turning out that way all right. The Leicester are up by 15 now. They're in control. The question is basically are they going to keep their heads down? 
1.5 on the clock, end of the third. Demons need a lot of things to go right to try and get a score in this play. They trail by 13. That's not a bad start. Turn it around. Harrow gets it up. No good. End of the third. Colester lead 75 to 62. Forty-four to go. Backside is falling asleep in the seat, but uh, let's get some post game. And this should be the final possession. It's going to be the Leicester are going to take the win, ninety-eight to eighty-two, and they're going to progress to the championship game. Against Aina. in the second half, man. How's it feel to be in the championship game? Man, I feel great, man. I know that I wasn't here the whole year. I know this team worked hard this whole year. Once I got here, we worked even harder. And we look where it ended up in the championship game. And like, this was a physical, testy game. Yeah. Like, what was it like being out there? Man, it was fun. The whole game was fun. The crowd was into it. I had fun out there playing with my guys. Now I want the championship. A physical one, I think it's safe to say that was. Yeah, yeah, we knew teams want to bring it. Um, they've been great all year. In the big games, they never die. And uh, took everything we had there to win that game. And like after the first quarter, you guys seemed to find another level. Like what was going on there? It was a bit like the Ballon College one. Probably uh, we extended our lull a little bit in the first quarter. Uh, but we knew we were confident in the shots we were getting, confident in our ability. And uh, yeah, we knew we would get rolling at some point. And you got a Dublin Derby now coming up in two weeks. How are you going to prepare for that? Yeah, uh, we'll enjoy tonight first, and then we'll talk about Aina later. Uh, it's a one off game, and it can happen. Uh, we'll just do our best. Paul, physical one, but it looked like you were having fun even when you were behind out there, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know it's a long game. We gotta stay positive and uh, we have a great group, you know what I mean? We're playing fast tempo so we know it's gonna change quick. Uh, you've got a longer break than usual, it's two weeks until the final, like, so how are you gonna make sure you stay fresh? Uh, I mean, we'll train, like, you know what I mean, but old bodies will uh, we'll like the two weeks for, uh, for the, the fresh stuff. And like for you, like after the second quarter started, it was really all cholesterol most of the way, like, what do you think was the difference between the teams here? Yeah, it's just about hitting our shots and heating up. Like, you know, again, we're playing at such a fast pace. Uh, we just need a few to fall. And when they fall from all different angles, you know, it's, it's fun. And, like, you got eight in now in two weeks. How are you going to prepare for those guys? It ain't a win tonight. They ain't a win tonight. They ain't a win tonight. Happy days. Uh, yeah, no, great. They're a good team. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. So that's it here from the Irish Wheelchair Association. Big win for Cholesterol in the end, 98 to 82. Really love a good physical encounter, and we got one today, folks, absolutely for sure. Gloucester going to face Aina, their Southside rivals. Of course, they're North City here, Gloucester. So, a little bit of battle ahead in the championship game in two weeks. I'll be at that. 
slightly better duds than this, but our next video is, if things go well, our next video will be, there's a clue, in a very different place. Our next video will be in a very different place. Catch you all soon. And if you haven't already, for goodness sake, subscribe.